You know, there's always a couple of these videos that I do when I just smile beforehand at how stupid some people are nowadays. If you haven't noticed, or maybe you're just not on social media that much, people have stooped down to a very new level, or excuse me, low level, I guess new and low, on how to make money online. We first kind of realized this during COVID when the whole OnlyFans thing came out, and um, I feel bad for all the fathers out there because my God, what your daughters are doing is just, I don't really know other than they're not gonna find a man worth his salt doing that. But even before that, there were people who would make money online or make a business online by pranking people. It's been a long, long standing thing ever since YouTube came out. And some of them are staged, some of them are not. It really doesn't matter. Now, that being said, some of them are funny to watch and some of them are just stupid. For example, the guy that got shot by Alan Coley. If y'all have ever seen what he puts out, it's just the stupidest crap you have ever seen. The buildings down through here. Just watch your tone. Excuse me? Just watch your tone. What do you mean watch our tone? Oh. You just repeat it to me? Hey, go away, man. Go yeah. away. Yeah. Just next time, watch your tone. You probably can see it when you go over there. It's, it's over to your, you to your right when yeah. you get down that way. You Thank you. Me? Appreciate it. I just next time, you need to lower your tone. Because you're telling me something that's not sir, right. Sir, have a good day. But the question has to be asked nowadays with the amount of people carrying firearms, do these people know the risk that they are taking? Do these people know that most people are not happy with how America is right now and they're on edge and they don't want to be fucked with? Do they know that? So I'm going to play a video of one of these dudes and without context, if you're standing next to this situation, what are you doing? I'll tell you what I would do after this. I think the uh, first guy was a blind guy. Second guy had crutches, that's real nice. Now, this is probably staged. If it's not, this guy is gonna get shot probably pretty quickly. But that's not the question here. The question was, what are you doing if you see this happening? Do you know it's staged? I can tell you that if I saw a blind guy on the side of the road and I'm walking next to him and this guy comes over and slams him, it's not gonna go well for him. Now, I don't know if I would pull an Alan Coley move and just pull the gun out and shoot him, but he's probably getting stomped out pretty quick. But isn't that the whole point? While I'm doing that to this guy, he's probably saying, oh, it's a joke. Do people know? Are you announcing this before you do this to the area? Hey guys, so I'm a dumbass for a living um, and I put all the dumbassery on the internet. So I just wanna let you guys know that I'm gonna be slamming people's faces into the concrete this evening in the Bronx. And uh, if you can just not shoot me or stomp me out, I'd appreciate it. They're probably not doing that. But he's taking a huge risk from a bystander who may not be down for it, who may not be a total wuss and would stick up for someone. So I'm curious as to what y'all would do if you had no idea what was going on in the situation, you saw this guy slam down a blind person or a person that's dressed up as blind that you didn't know was a joke. I have a feeling a lot of you would at least get in the dude's face and try to defend the guy. Who here has ever gotten a scam text? I sure as hell have. Before I started Delete Me, I got them all the time. In fact, I have one in front of me here. That's from a guy saying that he wants to pay me weekly to wrap my car, a known scam. They get your number from online listing sites. And if you don't have a service to opt you out of them and remove your information, it's just going to continue to happen as well as all of your personal information for anybody to see. Quick story time, before I used Delete Me, I had an individual show up to my place. He got my address off the internet. He jumped my gate, went down my driveway, which is about a half a mile long, and knocked 
on my front door. Now, I did not call the police in this situation because I believe you shouldn't, unless it's absolutely necessary, but it didn't go well for him. And upon questioning him, he told me that he got my address off of a website online. That's why this service is so important. So, like I've said in the past, I have hired somebody personally to take all my personal information off of the internet. So I thought I didn't even need this service, but I just got my second report in. There's been 107 total data brokers that have had my info. For you, it's gonna be a lot higher. Listings reviewed 5,018, data brokers with your info, 44. Once again, if you've never used a service like this, your numbers are probably gonna be quadrupled. So it's already super affordable, but they're giving you an additional 20% off when you use my link and code below the video. Go get your personal information taken off the internet. Now, before we go any further in this, once again, the question becomes in today's age, what if you did shoot the guy? What if one of these people got legitimately injured, broke their neck, and their only defense was to shoot the guy? Does a DA charge you? It's like another Alan Coley incident. Do they say, oh no, it was a prank. Well, do people really give a fuck anymore? Where is the line, right? Is all you have to do is just say, well, sir, I robbed the bank, but it was a prank, but I, I still got away with all the money, but it was a prank. Oh, it was a prank, okay, no big deal. No, you're still doing something stupid. You're still doing something that looks illegal, morally wrong. So going along with this, this dude has a whole Instagram worth of these videos. Let me watch another one, and if you weren't sure about what you would do on the first round, let me know what you would do on this round. Now, he's got a disclaimer at the uh, end of it saying, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Who are you entertaining? Right, let's take that last clip, for example. You're running through a street chasing a dude. If I'm in one of those cars, I'm getting out of my car and I'm seeing if I can help the guy out because people don't go for this anymore in America. People want to live their lives in peace and they're tired of seeing this crap, whether it's real or fake. Not everybody is somebody who around all day but if this is your game plan for life you may find out because who knows one of these people in the car they could think that you're trying to kill the guy and shoot you it's not an outrageous claim because we've already seen it in the alan coley case something to think about <laughs>